Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I have the Spider-Man 2 movie um, as 67 uh, points of articulation. I used to have this when I was very little. And I remember uh, we had a yard sale and I begged my parents not to sell it, but they sold it for like 20 bucks in our yard sale. I was very small. I loved it, but there's some broken pieces, like the fingers were were detached. Um, and then, um, this guy is really old. So usually to get like a brand new package, it's like, I want to say about $200, but I was like enough to get this guy for like 50. Um, but it doesn't come with like the web blaster and a web thing. I wasn't really into that anyways. Um, I was just really wanting this figure. Um, and the good thing about it is that I'm missing any pieces or anything. All it has is some minor like paint wear um and some joints are a little loose like this one's a little loose um it's just a little crack in here make because this part's hollow kind of same thing here but um i've been playing around with it a little bit since i've gotten it this guy's huge and i love the fact that it has so much articulation that you can get into crazy poses and one of the articulation pieces are the fingers like you move each individual one i'll go over the articulation here in a little bit but also let's just go over the looks of it so let's start off with the head so yeah, you can see there's some paint wear with the silver web lines here. Black lining, a little worn. I could probably fix that up with painting it too. Uh, I like how this thing looks. I loved it when I was very little. Let's go over the back. I love the spider logo on the back. And then the blue area or dark blue area, it's textured. Um. And then also the cobwebbing is like sculpted in, not in, but embroidered or whatever you want to call it. Spider logo is there too. Uh, a little bit of paint wear on this crotch. Um, but yeah, just minor paint wear along the area, but I could easily fix that. But I love this figure. Um, but yeah, let's go over the articulation now. So, he has a ball joint here. Like, since it's used, I think this guy may have broken it and fixed it. You can see the little white area right here. I'm not sure if he fixed it or did something with it. But the ball joint makes his head go up that far, down that far, barely. But then there's a neck joint where you can rotate it make it go down that far up that far but to make them go both go it goes down that far and then up that far which is really good if you want to get them to poses um then we'll go over the arms so shoulders can move out that far um it's 360 rotation butterfly joint bicep swivel double joints at the elbows clicks uh, it's a sh like forearm cut, not like one of those Marvel Legend ones. And then each individual like finger joint has a uh, like a little swivel. And then this area has like a what is it? What do you want to call it? Like a I guess this part of your hand. It makes it does it does that, which I think is really cool. And then. Same thing on the other arm, same thing. Um, then it has like an ab 
well, like a diaphragm joint, so you can get them to move that far to the side, other side too. Ab crunch. Uh, so you can get the ab crunch to go that far, back that far. Really good. And then waist pivot too, off to the side that far. Uh, forward, pretty good. Back just a little bit, but then when you put it all together, you can get it to go forward that far, which is really good. Backwards, pretty good. Um, and then to the side, really good. That far, same thing, which I like a lot. And then, like, it's an old Marvel Legend. It doesn't have, like, a new way of doing the uh, joint, the hip joint here, where it's just, like easier it's not like a ball so it'd be kicking forward this much not far down really but backwards pretty good and then you like thigh cut double jointed knees shin cut and then has that the ankle pivot i mean not ankle pivot ankle can move up that far uh, down that far, which is good. And then it has that one articulation piece where it makes your ankle pivot go that far. It's right here. And then it has two joint, uh, toe joints. So one right here goes that far. And then that far forward. And then the very tip. Eh, there we go. Like that pretty good and then when you put them all together this way looks kind of weird i won't have them like that and then all together right here which you, if you want to get them like in a crouching pose you can but yeah i love this figure i'll probably do something with it repaint little areas um but yes i am glad i was able to get this guy um well yeah, he's so huge, I have to move my camera back. Yeah. Uh, let's do a comparison with my other Marvel Legend guys. So, here's... Here's, like, the Marvel Legend guys that I usually collect. Most of them are this size. Really big difference here. So, there's the 12... 112 scale. I think this is, like, a quarter. And then, let's get the Galactus out. And then here's the 18 inch Spider-Man next to the Galactus build figure. Still bigger than the Galactus. I can't even fit the Galactus in my shelves. So I have to put this guy on top of the, like the very top of my shelf. Um, but I love the figure. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be doing my, like probably will repaint it at some point. Once again, all the stuff to, that I need to redo it, but yeah, that's all I got. For this video, shout out goes to Luke Figure Me Out. Uh, he's the one that guess the figure for this review on um, the 18th, 18 inch uh, Spider-Man Tobey Maguire figure on um, 67 points of articulation. Uh, good job. He check him, Make sure you check out his Instagram. Here it is. And then also his YouTube. He does a bunch of reviews on figures like I do, collects them. He's really cool. Um, and also thank you to um, Clockworks and MCU Collector for reaching out to others to do this fun little thing that I'm doing with like before I review the figures and stuff like that. So thank you very much. And there will be more figures to guess on um, in a few days. Um, but besides that, good job, uh, Luke, figure me out. Um, and make sure you check out his YouTube and Instagram. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he 
like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting get me being able to do that, and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it, and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.